In today's video, we are going to be looking at the overall health and life expectancy of a French Bulldog and exploring the best ways to ensure they have a healthy, fulfilled life. Welcome back to the French Bulldog channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Debojo. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the French Bulldog. Then, how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect French Bulldogs. So, if you're a lifelong French Bulldog lover thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new French Bulldog, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future French Bulldog video. So then, let's get into today's video where we will be looking at the health and life expectancy of the French Bulldog, as well as advice on how to keep your Frenchie happy and healthy throughout their lives with you. If you get yourself a Frenchie, be prepared to share at least 10 to 14 years of your life with them. Whilst they are generally robust and healthy dogs that will be an active member of the family, there are some health issues that potential owners should be aware of. Now, this isn't a video that should worry you. The ailments that will be mentioned are just what can affect your Frenchie Bulldog, not what will affect them. Along with love and care, the research and awareness of topics such as common health conditions are what makes a responsible dog owner. So, let's dive right into it. If you caught my video of the comparison of Frenchies and American Bulldogs, you will have heard me describe French Bulldogs as a brachycephalic breed. Breeds of this type are described as having a shortened muzzle or a flat face. Now, a lot of the major health concerns of Frenchies stems from this appearance fault. Yes, they're cute, but it is to their own detriment. Issues that arise from a shortened muzzle include labored, noisy, breathing, breathing difficulty, heat intolerance, and a heightened risk of asphyxiation pneumonia. It is absolutely crucial to be aware of these issues in order to manage them effectively. To prevent excess labored breathing, Frenchies shouldn't be allowed to overexert themselves or be exercised in the heat. Their inability to pant efficiently to oxygenate or cool down is a serious fault. If they were to overheat, it's very time critical to get them to vets before they go into shock. Now, I don't want to scare you, any potential Frenchie owners. I just want to prevent any Frenchie suffering due to lack of reliable education. Another medical concern is the possibility of them suffering from herniated discs in their spine. It is due to their compact size and that they have been bred with curly tails that has put added pressure on their spine. It's possible for them to suffer from this should they fall awkwardly or be allowed to roughhouse before fully developed. Unfortunately, the only way to fix this should it happen is spinal surgery, which is as serious as it sounds. Good quality insurance is a must when picking this breed to bring home. Vet care is expensive, but for good reason. Do yourselves and your Frenchie a favor and research into reputable insurance before picking out a puppy. I'd love to give you preventative measures to protect your Frenchie against these medical concerns, but the only way really to stop these issues is from responsible breeding. Due to the massive popularity of these little dogs, there are a lot of below par breeders out there. The ones that haven't done the research, the ones that don't know the issues of breeding flat-faced dogs with one another, and it's the dog and their owners that suffer for it. My advice to you is that you need to do extensive research into buying Frenchie puppies. Make sure you see mum and the puppies, and you want to make sure that the mum looks healthy and cared for. Education is absolutely key to reducing the backyard breeders from making money and instead investing money into responsible breeding. As always, any concerns that you have with your dogs, please do call the vets. A veterinary professional is where you will get the most reliable health advice. At Fenrir, our aim is to make you aware of these issues, not to diagnose them. 
Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. A crucial part to keeping a healthy dog comes down quite heavily onto the diet you provide for them. A key part of their diet is that it should be quality ingredients. You want to stay away from the processed colorful kibble that is commonly seen in pet shops. Make sure there is a good balance in their diet as well. A mix of easily unprocessed lean animal proteins complex carbs, nutrients from fruit and veg, omega-3 and 6, and for it to be easily digestible. You can gauge your Frenchie's health by taking note of their coat condition, their bowel movements and energy levels. Just be careful to keep your French Bulldog at a healthy weight. Males should be no more than 12 kilograms, whereas females should be around 10 kilograms. They can be prone to weight gain. To tackle this, take their treats from their daily allowance and take them for multiple short walks during the day if the weather allows you to do so. To summarize, no one wants to think about their dog getting a major illness or condition, but research and being prepared for it, should they get it, is part of being a responsible dog owner. Whilst Frenchie Bulldogs are prone to some debilitating issues, you can learn to manage them to keep their quality of life high. It cannot be stressed enough that this breed has been subjected to exploitation in recent years. Their popularity has caused irresponsible breeding that has accentuated some of their medical issues. To best tackle this, please, please do your research before buying one. A healthy Frenchie will be a loved, fun member of the family, but one from a reckless breeder will have more than likely come with major challenges or major medical issues. Their diet can be summarized by saying that they need a balanced, unprocessed, digestible diet to ensure they're healthy. Also, deviate their calorie intake according to their activity levels. They're prone to weight gain, so don't be feeding them too much, especially in the summer if they're limited on exercise possibilities. And the last reminder, any concern you have about the health of your dog should be addressed by a vet. The quicker you can get them seen and diagnosed, the better the outcome will be. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below, and don't forget that if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Frenchie Bulldog videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the French Bulldog channel.